It is now time for our Westway's Weekender. Every other Saturday, we are featuring highlights mm -hmm. from the Automobile Club of Southern California's Westway's Magazine as we celebrate travel, food, and life right here in Southern California. That's right, and this morning, we're taking a trip down south to San Diego to explore a neighborhood that is growing in popularity. And joining us live this morning is Westway's Senior Features Editor, Derek Lang. Good morning, Derek. Good morning. Derek, we're excited to talk to you about this uh, topic. You have to tell us, for those mm -hmm. who have not been there, what's making North Park so popular right now? Yeah, I wasn't too familiar with it either, but located in northeast of Balboa Park in San Diego is the North Park neighborhood. Mm. It's long been known as the epicenter of the area's craft beer boom, but mm. lately it's really come into its own and it's much more than that. There's an expanding array of coffee shops, boutiques, restaurants, bars, street art, all kinds of cool stuff. Mm. It's home to a really popular weekly farmer's market. There's a monthly art walk there and it's home to what I think is now the hippest hotel in San Diego, the Lafayette Hotel and Club. Oh, so many fun places. All right, so set the scene for us. Say we're driving up for the weekend. How do we start our day? Yeah, for a beautiful boost of caffeine in the morning, head to Love Song Coffee. Mm -hmm. They do really creative coffee and matcha drinks. All the syrups are house made and they use these beautiful little garnishes like fresh flowers. Yeah. You're definitely going to want to take a pic of your drink before you take the first. I was going to say it's very Instagrammable. Very. Yeah, and it's delicious. Everything's really great there. So Derek, it's a good way to start thing. Good information. And we're going to talk about something that's very close to my heart. Shopping, <laughs> you know, shopping is so important. When, Where's she going to spend all her money? Of course, my whole paycheck, right? Um, anytime we go somewhere, we're, we're talking about food, shopping, you know, places to visit. So where should people go to shop? Yeah, to me, this is where North Park truly shines. There's so many fabulous locally owned boutiques and shops at the Verbatim Bookstore. They have like something like 50,000 books ranging from poetry mm. to there's like a, a rack of vintage romance novels. <laughs> like they have everything. Mm. And inside of Verbatim Bookstore, the space is like rustic and cool. To me, it looks like something straight out of one of the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> uh, so that's a really cool place to find some books. Around the corner is another great shop called Art Alexia. Mm. It uh, specializes in Mexican candy, gifts, cards, uh, anything you want. And it's all expertly curated by the owner, Alexia de la Parra, who kind of has this like expanding empire of shops in, in North Park now. She also has another shop called Casa Palma Dolce, which vends mood boosting uh, products like uh, lotions and candles. Ooh. And then there's also um, Casa y Cucina, which does home decor and um, like kitchen products. So there, there's lots of places for you to spend your paycheck. <laughs> yeah, that's my kind of place right there. Alone. So when I go somewhere new, I always like to try out the food there. So what do you recommend? What's our go to spots? Uh, there's lots in North Park. So um, first I'll say uh, I'll recommend Louisiana Purchase. Mm. Uh, they do um, Southern fare. So they have finger licking good chicken wings, <laughs> big fluffy biscuits, stuff mm. like that. And their cocktail program is really fun too. There's this uh, shareable cocktail that comes in like an old school Kool-Aid pitcher mm -hmm. with a bunch of straws stuck in it. So that's really fun. Just make sure if you have that or any of the other fine libations in North Park, you designate a driver. Uh, and then for dinner, I'll recommend a brand new restaurant that just opened. It's called Layla. Mm. It's a Middle Eastern restaurant. I just tried it last week. It's in this really dramatic 4,800 square foot space with all these lanterns and twinkling lights. Like it really feels like you're dining outside. Yeah, what a There's vibe. Oh, yeah. It's such a vibe. And the big mezza platters are so delicious. My recommendation is if you get one of those, make sure you get the green tahini and the shallot yogurt. Those, those were really yummy. Looks so gorgeous. You know, if you are leaving the kiddos behind or you put them to bed early, you know, mom and dad, the singles out there, they want to go out and enjoy the nightlife. So what does North Park have to offer? 
There are tons of nightlife options in North Park at the Lafayette Hotel and Club, which underwent this big, massive multi-million dollar renovation. They have several bars and restaurants just there alone. And one of them, it's my particular favorite, is called The Gutter. It's like an adults-only uh, game room that's super elevated. They have ski ball and billiards. There's this really chic uh, two-lane bowling alley that you can rent. Fun. Another option that I like that's down the street on 30th Street, which is sort of like the main thoroughfare, one of them in North Park, it's uh, this sultry lounge called Part-Time Lover, and they do <laughs> craft cocktails, all the DJs spin the music on vinyl, and as you can see there, there's like a vinyl shop in the back that you can actually browse records and purchase them and take home. It's just like one of the many creative flourishes that visitors can find in North Park. And we have like so many more recommendations at AAA.com slash Westways. You, you have me sold. I want <laughs> to go going. visit. That looks like so much fun. One last thing, Derek, you know, for folks who haven't been there, if you were to choose maybe an area of L.A. Mm -hmm. to compare it to, what would you say? Yeah, I mean, you can probably tell the vibe is very similar to like a Silver Lake and Echo Park. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. It's really diverse and hip, but also still so welcoming and so many different options for food and drink and things to do at night. Um, and you mentioned families. I mean, I saw a bunch of families staying at the Lafayette Hotel and Club just hanging out by the pool. So you can just go there and relax by the pool if you want to. We are there. You sold us. Derek, thank you so much. You can find all the information on each spot we highlight on our website, kcalnews.com slash seen on TV.